This steps bar video looks at installing a stop tail steps bar onto a guitar. In this case, it's the Gibson ES137, which has the typical uh, Gibson stop tail layout of the stop tail and the bridge. So to begin, what we're going to do is to remove the strings, the stop tail, and the bridge, and make sure that this area behind the bridge pickup is clear and ready for installation of the steps bar. So let's start with the strings. Once the strings are off, we can take off the stop tail, unscrew the stop tail studs, some call them bolts, and take off the bridge and the bridge posts as well. Now we've taken the hardware off the guitar, we can check to see that the bushings and any collars that they may have do not protrude above the top of the guitar surface. And now what we're going to do is to take this chrome stop tail stets bar and mount it onto here. Now in the kit that came with the stets bar, you will find four bolts. Two of these are US spec, so suitable for a guitar like this, a Gibson and the rest are suitable for non-US manufacture, in other words, metric specification. Also in the kit are two nylon washers and also two Allen keys, one of which is used to insert the stop tail bolts and the other is used for tension adjustment. And that's going to be covered in a, another video in this series. Finally, we have a cosmetic filler strip. Now, this is only used on guitars such as the Les Paul, which has a highly carved top. We won't need it on here, but this is how it's fitted, and it's purely there as a cosmetic filler, because you'll occasionally get on those carved top guitars a gap between the back end of the Stets bar and the guitar's body. So it's really there just for looks. It's not vital for the operation of the system. If you do fit it, then cut it like this so that you make sure that the base plate of the steps bar always sits flat on the body. On the reverse of the steps bar base plate, you can see various cutouts. Now these are there to allow for the collars or bushings that stand proud above the guitar's body. But in this case, we don't have to worry because all of the bushings are flat and thus we can put the steps bar directly on. So we'll use the supplied bolts and fit it directly into its stop tail bushings. Now before I mount the steps bar, I always check the retainer screw. Take the bridge off, make sure that transit screw is released and is not gonna stop the bridge moving backwards and forwards. Easiest way to do that is just use a screwdriver to Turn the screw until you feel some resistance, and then once you have that, just move it back a couple of turns. So we can place the steps bar roughly in position, take a bolt, put the collar on, and start to screw it in uh, by hand to begin with, and then you can use the supplied Allen key. We'll do the same on the other side and the trick is here that as these screw down we don't want to put too much pressure all we're trying to do is to tighten the bolts up to finger tightness just carefully bring them in close them up until you feel some resistance Have the steps bar in place, we'll put the bridge back on, and our next move will be stringing up and setting up the steps bar. And we will cover that in detail in another video in the series. Mm -hmm.